It provides warmth, it provides light, and recently it provided the basis for a project never before attempted at Virginia Tech. Students and faculty from the College of Architecture and Urban Studies and the College of Engineering began work on a shining example of innovation through research. The result was a prototype for something we may all come to know in the future, a solar house. The idea to build a solar house came about as a result of a new intercollegiate competition called the Solar Decathlon. The event challenged students to compete in 10 categories to design and construct their best fully solar-powered homes. This first-of-its-kind competition, sponsored by the Department of Energy, attracted teams from over a dozen universities across the nation. For over a year, the interdisciplinary team of Virginia Tech faculty and students in architecture, building construction, industrial design, and mechanical and electrical engineering worked together. They planned, designed, and built the structure for competition on the Mall in Washington, D.C. This cross-disciplinary cooperation served as part of the overall mission of the project, which was to encourage learning, innovation, and communication through teamwork. What made this thing real is uh, the, the group of students, the team, the teamwork. The project also sought to enhance students' educational experiences through a highly integrated approach to problem solving. Ultimately, for those involved, it would become a project of a lifetime, challenging the mind, stimulating the spirit, and delighting the senses. In order to meet requirements for the competition, the house had to generate power for everyday needs, hot water, lighting, and conventional household appliances. It has to power everything that a normal house would have to power, including the, uh, the automobile. The team placed first in two of the ten categories, getting around and design, presentation, and simulation. But for the students, the rewards were far greater. One of the things that I got out of this project was working with the architects and the engineers and seeing how our two views sometimes collided, but then how we can bring them together to have a successful design. The house is packed with innovative amenities, which won them the BP Solar Innovation Award for their integrated use of materials and systems. The roof supports 80 photovoltaic panels, which produce 6,000 watts of power when running at peak capacity. 10-inch fiberglass I-beams support the structure. The expanded polystyrene panels are encased in an ultralight steel frame and used as the flooring and ceiling of the house. The combination of fiberglass and polystyrene act together as a composite structural element, providing a strong and lightweight assembly. Both the I-beams and polystyrene panels can be derived from renewable and recyclable materials. A network of subfloor pipes make up the radiant floor heating system, which conditions the interior during cooler weather. The flooring is composed of durable polished granite planks, which were chosen for their durability as well as their heat retaining capacity. The solar thermal collectors supply the domestic hot water needs and heat for the radiant flooring system. Windows throughout the house provide natural ventilation and light. The glass is double paned, low E, and filled with argon gas. Aerogel panels provide enclosure for the east and west walls. These highly insulated materials are unique because of their ability for light to pass through them and with the added benefit of providing excellent sound isolation. We were pleased with the performance of the Aerogel product for a number of reasons. The fact that it gave us good insulating characteristics, allowing daylighting to penetrate, and also to give good acoustic isolation gave us three uh, distinctive characteristics that, uh, that made it a no-brainer to use. Just inside the entrance rests the brain of the house. This system can run on manual or autopilot and can be programmed to tell you if it's a good day to do laundry or if you should open the windows for a little fresh air. Located at a nearby university research site, the house is being detailed and refined. It currently serves as a study center for projects on materials and structures and their relation to future sustainable and energy efficient designs. Our researchers hope that one day these discoveries will be incorporated into new and improved future dwellings where families can harness the power of the sun to live, work, and play. We've been fortunate in a lot of our senior uh, design uh, projects to have uh, excellent uh, support from company sponsors and uh, we think companies look at this as an opportunity to uh, build an awareness among students of their company, to uh, build an awareness of their, their product, in this case 
companies that have sponsored Solar Decathlon, their products will be showcased on the National Mall. Uh, but maybe just as importantly, it gives uh, companies a chance to get a look at our students and find out you know, who the good students are, uh, what kinds of capabilities they have, and really, through their contributions, they enhance those capabilities. So it's, it's a great opportunity, uh, we think, for the sponsors as well as for the students.